I'm going to walk you through how to use the seating chart feature inside of websites. So if you're using the seating chart feature for the first time, which we'll find under guests and seating chart, you'll see this screen which will ask you how many tables you're going to have. So in the early stages of planning your wedding, you probably won't know exactly how many tables you're going to need until you get all of your RSVPs back. So don't worry too much because you can always edit and change things around as you get closer to the wedding date. But for now, let's say that we want to have eight tables at the wedding. So go, we'll go ahead and do that. Press continue and automatically we'll have eight tables populated for us. So you can scroll using these arrows up at the top or the scroll bar at the bottom and you'll see that eight tables have been created for us. So you may have noticed that we've got some names in here already. So these, uh, these guests have automatically been added to these tables, but you can of course just click and drag um, and put guests wherever you want to seat them. So something that's worth mentioning is that in these eight tables that we've created, only the guests ha who have confirmed so far have been put into a table. So the way that you can tell if a guest has confirmed is the, the number next to their name is in green. And for this unassigned table right here, these are for guests who we're waiting to hear back from. So people who are waiting to hear a reply back from will be in yellow. People who are not invited yet will be in a gray color. And for guests who have declined, the invitation will not show up in this section at all. So as guests start responding, their status here will automatically change. But if you're just trying to have a play around and figure out where to seat your guests, even if they haven't confirmed yet, you can still click and drag them into a table. You'll also notice that next to each person's name, you'll see that there's a label here. And this is the group that that particular guest is assigned to. So as you can see, this comes quite in handy when you're trying to create your seating chart because your guests will tend to want to sit next to people that they know. So this is a great way to just quickly see who is sitting on a certain table. So for example, for table three, we can see that this table is full of Hannah's family. Table four does have someone from Hannah's family, but the rest of them are Hannah's friends. We can drag Haley and put her into table three so that this is all Hannah's family and so forth. So this is where the groups really comes in handy to give you that visual to just quickly show you who's sitting where.